I just put out a video bringing you guys some of the best new games coming in October. But today I wanna just bring you a general list of good mobile games and not the ones that you're thinking. I'm not talking PUBG Mobile. I'm not talking Call of Duty Mobile. I'm talking games that you may not yet have heard of that are hidden gems that you should try because they're good. So let's dive into 10 of them that you should try today. We're starting off the list today with Gunfire Reborn. This is an extremely fun game and it's an adventure level based game with first person shooter, roguelike and RPG elements to it. Players can control heroes with various abilities to experience a diverse build gameplay so your gameplay can be different based on the builds that you could create. As you can tell here, the graphics of the game are cute, colorful, cartoony, yet at the same time the game is serious enough to keep your enjoyment and not just be solely casual. The game supports both solo mode and multiplayer mode with up to four players. It's a mobile game that has reset and upgraded its basic controls as well as weapon shooting performance and strives to achieve an authentic gaming experience on mobile. So if you like those PC or console games, they're trying their best to make the mobile game feel very similar. Watcher of Realms. This game is so good that I'm actually considering covering it over on my Call of Dragons channel. Just putting that out there for future note. This is going to be your turn-based strategy style game that we know like Raid Shadow Legends, but with a massive twist because it's actually not turn-based strategy and instead it brings back my favorite gameplay style of all genres, which is tower defense. The heroes that you're gonna be unlocking inside of this game are going to be taking their pedestals and defending against the oncoming enemies through each of the stages. All of the different heroes have different abilities that synergize well or don't synergize well together. Can you keep away the enemies that are trying to get to the end of your base on each of the levels? The mechanics of the side of the game are super easy to control. You place and rotate, and it's really fun because you have the collection element of the game as well. You're going to want to have all of the heroes unlocked. That's what's going to keep you coming in and joining up inside of this game. This game right here is a Raid Shadow Legends killer. Will it actually happen? Fireball Wizard. This is our platformer style, pixelated style, wizardry style, retro kind of game. This one is a really good one though as well. You're a little wizard and you run around these different stages with your different attacks and you take down enemies like all other platforms that we know. This one just has some really smooth mechanics that bring back the retro style gameplay that I personally know and love. You're gonna be able to use your unique abilities to launch deadly fireballs and defeat some fearsome bosses and uncover secrets hidden in the mysterious forest caves and the castles. We have a mixture of action, adventure, and puzzle solving inside of this game, making it a perfect type of game for platformer lovers that don't mind a little bit of puzzle work. And Brotato. Yes, I know, we featured Brotato here on the channel before, but this is probably one of my favorite roguelike survival style bullet hell games that's out there. Inside of Brotato, you play as a potato. That is obviously a bro. You have the ability to wield up to six weapons and you're gonna be fighting off the hordes of aliens. You could also choose from a variety of traits and items to create unique builds and survive until help arrives. Keep in mind, there is also a premium version of this game that you can get to remove all ads and just have a pure gaming experience. Definitely one of the best bullet hell games out there right now. Layla's Horizon. Let me introduce you to a casual adventure with a really amazing atmospheric feel where you're going to float your way around different levels inside of this gorgeous game. It's definitely one that's a more casual experience where you're going to want to take the time to enjoy everything that you encounter. This is one also that's available for Netflix members, so keep that in mind. It's an engaging, cozy, and responsive experience, says Engadget, and definitely is something that's different from many other style games that are out there right now. Now, of course, we have other games that have atmospheric feels like this one, but this one's done really well, and it's a newer one that I felt was really deserving of being featured here on the list. It also gets continual updates, so there's always new content for you to explore and enjoy. Fog MOBA is actually not MOBA at all. It's more of a battle royale style game with MOBA elements to it. 
This game is addicting, it's super fun, and it's easy to dive into and play. Essentially, you're gonna be choosing your hero, all of which have different abilities, and as you land on the map, unlocking different weapons, abilities, skills, and upgrading yourself as you progress and as the fog gets closer to you. Of course, this fog is poisonous gas. You want to avoid it or else you will die, but you're gonna to have to fight out your opponents as you encounter them on the map. Hopefully they're not as upgraded as you. This one's definitely a dark fantasy MMORPG style game. And it does have MOBA elements, but it probably is best categorized as a battle royale style with MOBA feels to it. Lots of fun gameplay, different heroes that you could play as, which will give you different feels every time you jump into the game. And like I said, it's super addicting, easy to hop into and play in quick doses and just fun. Now there are gonna be some gems that I missed on today's list. So it's your job. I'm asking you, this is the call for your help. Let me know some good ones down in the comments below. And while you're down there, if you like the video, think of subscribing. Fortress Saga AFK. Yes, this is an AFK game because we always need to have at least one good one on the list. And this one is different than any we've ever featured here on the channel before because inside of Fortress Saga, you actually are playing as the fortress that walks along and takes down enemies as you go. As you gather allies, you'll customize your fortress to your own taste and explore dungeons in the vast worlds. You have to defeat your enemies and grow stronger even faster. Plus, the chemistry between heroes and eye-catching graphics will keep you engaged and wanting more. I personally just like it because it's a different take on the Idol series and it's one that's worth playing. Last Ultima, this is an MMORPG style game with the anime vibe and feel. I personally love all of the different types of characters inside of the game, just the original graphics that the game has to offer and the battle mechanics that you have as well. Tons of different weapons that are all unique to the character that you choose. Graphics are on point. I love the way how just beautiful everything does look. On top of that, it's a really big, grand, robust game that's gonna always give you more and more things to explore and PVE and PVP elements to engage in. Whether you're fighting against masses of enemies or taking down a massive end boss, the game is addicting, super fun, and one of the better ones that are out right now in the space. Legendaria is a vertical style casual shooter because every shooter we play shouldn't be white knuckle, crazy, intense, super serious. Sometimes you need to have a really casual style shooter where you just shoot some zombies with what looks like a pea shooter. This game is fun. It's easy to jump into, it's enjoyable, and it has good replayability. Basically, we're looking at a survival shooting game in which you control your player with only one hand. You only control your hero's movement. Everything else is taken care of by the game itself. Outer Plane is another action strategy style game that is also a role playing game. In addition to this, it's uh, an anime style game as well, which many of you absolutely love. This one gives you, again, tons of different abilities that you can utilize in this turn based strategy RPG. Tons of collectibles as well and guaranteeing you, you will want every single one of them. I love the artwork style here. It's a great mixture. I love the artwork style here. It's a great mixture of both cartoon and beautiful anime. And the combat's fun. I love the damage numbers that get thrown up on the screen. And the combat is easy, takes care of itself, and you can focus on collecting and upgrading. Before you leave, make sure you drop your favorite emoji in the comments section below. It's for the algorithm.